Hop on the magic school bus, hop on this dick. Hey everyone, so I'm gonna do a very different video from for, for right now, just like a simple vlog video where it's just me talking because I'm going through some crazy things right now. Not so much like anger issues, just like, you know, just like whatever, just the constant burden of a deadline, always looming, always there, just affects me and I edit these videos a lot. So here's just me having fun because editing takes time, but here's just a fun bonus video because I'm angry, but this is a good way to release my anger, just talking about bullshit. And the type of bullshit today is that we're gonna talk about the magic school bus. Hop on the magic school bus, hop on. Oh, I already used that joke. Okay, so. Netflix. You know how I always praise Netflix like, oh yeah, buddy, Thunderstruck's the funniest shit ever. And then there's, um, Voltron. Voltron, that's what I'm talking about. And then, well, there's other, I'm sure there's other funny shows on Netflix, but I can't think of them right now. So, so now Netflix is making the magic school bus or something, a new reboot. And it looks like fucking shit. I mean, the animation looks like it came from Newgrounds. Like, do you know those doll dress-up games? I heard someone say this. Like, it looks like one of those dress-up games that you go on, like, a browser. And you just like, hey, make your own superhero. And just, like, you switch between, like, several things. Like, all the kids look like they have the same body type and structure. It's like Bruce Tim drew this shit. <laughs> no offense to Bruce Tim. No offense. No fucking offense. But... Mm. But yeah, like, the animation looks like garbage. Like, usually the intro to a cartoon is always the best, most well-animated thing ever in a show. But for some reason, they're, they're showing clips in the trailer. They show, like, shot-for-shot -shot recreations of, like, things that were in the intro of the original Magic School Bus. And, like, you, you see them side-by-side. -side. Well, not even side-by-side. -side. On its own, the new one, it looks like garbage. Like, the intro needs to be the best-looking shit ever. It needs to be, like, you know... If people are going to see the intro, they're going to see it over and over and over again. So you might as well put a bunch of money in it. That's why in Thundercats, the Thundercats intro looks a billion times better than the actual show itself. It's, it, wow, it's like, it looks like garbage. It looks like fucking garbage. Oh, okay, but... No, oh, what other problems? Miss Frizzle. Like, they're not going to bring back Miss Frizzle. They're not bringing her back. That bitch is fucking dead. Well, she's not dead. She's just patching passing the torch, but if you hear her voice, like, sh design-wise, she looks roughly the same, just with shittier animation, but, like, if you just listen to her voice, she sounds like an old lady, you know, just, like, she's a frail and about to die, and uh, that's, a, that's a mean thing to say, never mind, but, okay, so it's, like, I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, it's kind of this weird purgatory where the kid, nobody aged, except Miss Frizzle has some sort of Benjamin Button disease where she doesn't age visually, but she, somehow she just aged, like, 30 years since the last time we saw her, and somehow the kids are still in the same exact school, like, they haven't fucking graduated, they're still here, like, fuck, I was in elementary school when the Magic School Bus premiered, and now I'm in, I've fucking graduated college, yet these kids are such big fuck-ups that they can't even past this stupid easy ass school like in the magic school bus all you fucking did all they fucking did in the magic school bus is just like hey let's go on a field trip there's no test did they ever take a fucking test in the magic school bus nothing there was no fucking test it was the easiest fucking school ever and they fucking failed it i guess maybe it's like some sort of like um i don't know there has to be like some sort of like uh what do you call one of those Mundry laundering schemes. Like, remember in Family Guy, there was like a scene where Joe busts the school and it's just a bunch of midgets. And they weren't kids, they were midgets in the school. Never mind. Fucking anyway. So Miss Frizzle's passing the torch because she's too old for this shit. She's just like, oh, I don't like smartphones. I'm so stupid. Oh, and then she passes the torch to some chick. Some chick who was in uh, the, the Ghostbusters reboot, the blonde chick. I thought she was the only good part of the Ghostbusters reboot. Yeah, so the blonde chick from Ghostbusters reboot. Uh, she's gonna be the new Miss Frizzle. I don't know what her name is. Miss Jizzle is what they'll call it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So if they have, like, if you, hey, if you plan on drawing any Rule 34 of Miss Frizzle, uh, be, be wary of the kids. Please tag it as Miss Jizzle, you know? I know, like, Monster High... Like, uh, people who tag Monster High smut, they, they don't tag it as Monster High, they tag it as Monster High. <laughs> I, I'm confused, I'm not sure why.
So yeah, so I'm looking at the I looked at the trailer and like uh, the fucking kids, none of the kids look like I don't fucking know. Look, they they hang on, wait, I'm losing my mind here. Hang on. I'm drinking uh, Topo Chico. It's a uh, mineral water. It's not alcohol or anything. I don't drink alcohol ever. Okay, mm. so yeah, the, the, the lady's gonna be taking over for the kids, so it's she doesn't have the fucking lizard, she has like an orangutan I saw in the trailer, I don't know if that really was part of the thing or not, it was just there, I'm not sure if that's part of it. So anyway, like, I mean, honestly, what did you expect? It's the fucking magic school bus, I mean, like, I, I mean... I mean, if your childhood isn't ruined, you can still watch the, you can buy the DVDs, but honestly, did anyone care about the Magic School Bus? The only reason anybody was ever excited for the Magic School Bus is you got to watch it during class. There was no reason to watch the Magic School Bus, other than, like, fucking Arnold ripping his own fucking helmet off in space and his whole body freezing. Nobody cares about the Magic School Bus, other than any sort of meme sort of thing, any sort of online viral thing. Nobody cares about the Magic School Bus. Like, what's, you, you're not gonna fucking watch the Magic School Bus. Was. People will watch Batman the Animated Series and the DuckTales or whatever, but nobody's gonna watch the original Magic School Bus again. Like, maybe for Nostalgia Valley, like, oh, I watched, like, two episodes of this, and it's like, you'll be done with it, and you're gonna watch something better. You're gonna watch your Game of Thrones or whatever. Some bullshit. I don't know. But, like, who cares, honestly? It's like, even the, it's, the same thing's gonna happen to the new Magic School Bus, where you're just gonna, like, you're gonna watch... Some fucking two episodes, if, even if it was good, even if it looked good, even if the animation was good, you're just gonna like look at two episodes and then you're done. You're not gonna watch it. It's for the kids. Let's be honest. Nobody fucking cares. Animation is fucked. Everyone's always making like cynical videos of just like, oh, Cartoon Network's dying. Nickelodeon's dying. Everything's fucking dying. Every single cartoon is dead. Everyone's always pissed. No one's ever happy. So now we have another reboot. Because let's look. Come on, DuckTales was a good reboot. Ben 10, okay, whatever. And then Powerpuff Girls is a fucking mess. But um, Teen Titans Go, at least that's funny in a, wow, that's fucked up kind of way, you know? It's like, hey, you want to have an episode where, um, fuck. Um, everyone's like, come on, Raven, you got to eat it. You got to eat it. And everyone's like, yeah, Raven's going to eat it. Mm -mm, she's going to eat it. And they she, they have her eat the meatball. And it's a whole episode about her eating a meatball. It's, at least Teen Titans goes fucked up. And this, it's like, well, it's fucking Magic School Bus. Who cares? Honestly, it's like, fucking, I don't care. Nobody cares. It's for the kids. I mean, I mean, I mean, you're all gonna say like, but kids deserve better. It's like, no, well, no, you deserve better. I'm not gonna sit here and speak for the kids. I mean, like, you, you look at the crap you watch when you were a kid. You're like, what? You watch that shit now. It's like, wow, I can't believe I, I thought Spy Kids 3D was a good movie. And it's like, at the time, I enjoyed it. But as an adult, I would fucking hate this movie. Well, it's still enjoyably funny in a so bad it's terrible way. But I don't know. Spike Hex 3, you know, it's just like, look, it's for the kids. Who cares? Everything's fucked. The, the sooner you realize that nobody cares, no, no one fucking cares, everything's better. <sighs> Excuse me. Magic School Bus. Is there anything else to talk about a Magic School Bus? I don't think so. I mean, it's like, what's there to say? The show was never good. I mean, I remember it aired, like, right next to, like... Okay, I would, I would go home, and after school, like, uh, whatever year Mario Party 3 came out on the Nintendo 64, that's how I calculate what year something came out uh, by association. But, uh, you know, I remember Tiny Toon Adventures would air on Nickelodeon and Magic School Bus PBS. And I was like, do I want to watch Magic School Bus or Tiny Toon Adventures? And you know what the obvious choice was? Tiny Toon Adventures, because who the fuck cares about the mad school bus it's a fucking show honest again it's a fucking show you watch because n there was no you didn't have to like do work on a school day you know that's the only reason you watched it it was something like hey we're gonna b bring in that little tv you know like the the little cart thing and then the, the tv strapped to like a big thing on the cart and then the cut and then you watch that or you watch uh, bill nye the science guy or you watch beekman's world nobody fucking watched beekman's world who the fuck is beekman i don't fucking know <sighs> but oh yeah so 
Well, I, everything was terrible in the night. No, a lot some certain things were terrible, and some some of the terrible things were because of the FCC. The FCC said, "Hey, you gotta have some educational programs." So that's the only reason the Magic School Bus existed. It was because, hey, you gotta have some educational programs. So you better make the Magic School Bus and popular mechanics for kids, because no one, because it was like, well, we gotta put something on here. And that's why Saturday morning cartoons died. And Netflix, Netflix. I don't think the FCC regulates that. Really. Really. I don't I don't think that really matters there. So I, I think they're like, hey, let's make an educational cartoon. What a fucking care. Mm. 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 <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, so Magic School Bus is gonna fucking suck. Like, it was never gonna be good. Let's be honest, you weren't gonna watch it. You just sit there and you complain about just your childhood's ruin. It's not fucking ruined. <laughs> My throat hurts. That's why I'm whispering into this microphone. Your childhood's not ruined. It's always fucked. If your childhood was dependent on cartoons, you're fucked. My childhood was dependent on cartoons. We're both fucked. You and me, we're fucked for life. We're both fucked in the ass. Nothing you can do about it. Your entire childhood was nothing but pop culture references. You don't know fucking shit outside anything that came from a Rugrats episode. That's your whole childhood. You don't learn. You didn't learn anything from fucking fifth grade. You know. You remember. The, you know the show. Are you smarter than a fifth grader or whatever? You don't know fucking shit. You. That's that show teaches us that we don't know fucking shit. But we know that fucking Tommy Pickles is. Dad is an inventor. We know fucking useless shit like this because pop culture is the only culture you have. You're all a fucking piece of shit. Your childhood was never good. It was always ruined. If you wish you lived in... You wish you were a kid today because then you would have fucking cell phones and you can watch whatever the fuck you want instantly over Netflix, over DVDs, over anything. Back then, back in the fucking 90s, what did you have? You could buy a VHS. You could spend money for a fucking VHS. How much would the VHS have? Like three episodes. It would only have three fucking episodes. Three fucking episodes that's all it has it's not this. you wish you lived today you wish you fucking lived today here right now you're just jealous you just look at fucking kids and you just think oh look at them looking at you at the fucking at their fucking smartphones when you would have done the fucking same you piece of shit you would have fucking done the same like what, come on like you had if you had a game you had a game boy you'd be on that fucking thing forever and you had a fucking iphone too and if you were a kid today you'd do the same with an iphone you're all a bunch of fucking liars you all think your childhood was better when no it wasn't it's all the same fucking shit fuck all of you bitch that's enough please give me five stars